Hi, we're Roy and Karen, and this is our Week in Review. And what a week it was. Mm. Let's start off with, we went to dinner with our, what did you call them? Fellow Dream Makers. Ah, I love that. <laughs> uh, uh, Billy and his... Sonia. So where are we going? Look where we're going. You can see where we're going. Yeah, but they can't see where we're uh, going. We are going to Evans Prairie. Oh, let me turn that around. Ah, oh, Evans Prairie. Our favorite place. <laughs> and Billy is the gentleman who sold us our golf cart. And has taken such great care of us since then. I had talked to him about how the golf cart was riding. We never had a golf cart before. How's it supposed to feel? He told us what he thought it was. I took it back to the service department and, and had him check it out. And lo and behold, it was exactly what Billy said it was. He's a smart guy. I'm He's sure a glad smart we have guy. him in our con corner. What, what's really amazing now is our golf cart is now better than uh, new. The other thing that happened this week is... Saturday. Woohoo! I got to go follow some of the recommendations I've seen... To go, and I went to Debbie's Hair Loft to get my hair done. First time since we've moved. And Kiki did a great job. Really, really nice place. Close and, and professional and clean. And, and Kiki was very personable and newer stuff. What I found to be really interesting was that uh, Karen had taken uh, lots of pictures with her on her iPhone to show her. Say, oh, here are some ideas. Mm -hmm. And I know that... Uh, a lot of places you've been to in the past, they would have just looked at those pictures and said, oh, that's what you want, and did it. And then you've had some bad experiences. Mm -hmm. But Kiki gave you her honest opinion mm -hmm. and said, this is what I think. Yeah, I don't like to spend a lot of time in the morning. I want to get out there and do stuff. And she says, well, the styles that you chose... You are going to spend some time getting it to look like that. And that's not what I'm about. The next thing was, we checked off one of the items on our bucket list, mm -hmm. but we also checked off one of the items on our Florida bucket mm -hmm. list. So we, we got ourselves an Airbnb on Merritt Island. Mm -hmm. And Merritt Island is about mm, five to ten minutes from Cocoa Beach. Mm -hmm. Great location. Went to the Airbnb, dropped off our stuff, checked it out, mm -hmm. which you're Cute seeing. Cute place. So lots of character. Real artsy person. He thought it was a little quirky, I think, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was very small. So I thought, you know, for a night or two, it was fine. If we were going someplace for a week... Even I would have been claustrophobic. It was cute. Really it was cute. the island cave, and mm -hmm. cave definitely described it. <laughs> but it was good. Yeah. So we dropped off our luggage. Uh, we went to dinner. It's right on the on the bay. We got to walk down to the water and mm -hmm. <sighs> breathe that fresh ocean air. After we had dinner, we went back to the Airbnb. Because the tour, the kayaking tour, wasn't going to take place till 10 o'clock that night. And us being the old farts we are, <laughs> there was no way we're going to stay up that no, late. I don't think you get and up in, early as we do. Yeah, and enjoy it. So we went back after dinner and we just crashed. Mm -hmm. I set the alarm, woke up an hour, a couple hours ahead of time, and. Uh, Had our little coffee perk up and off mm, we went. And off we went. <laughs> now, from Cocoa Beach, it was a, almost an hour mm. to Mosquito Bay. It was, it's near Titusville. So we get there. We are spraying ourselves down <laughs> with, uh, with the DEET. And uh, I talked to some people who came off another tour. And I said, how are the bugs out there? And they said, did you put DEET on? And I said, yeah. Okay, go do it again. <laughs> So we sprayed ourselves down again, just to be double sure. And still it wasn't enough. I it, was eaten alive, but you know what? I don't care. It was worth it. So worth 
while. Mm -hmm. So highly recommend. Clear kayaks, most awesome experience. Clear kayaks. So you can see right through them. As a matter of fact, you can see right behind us. Mm -hmm. You can see right through them and see all the the bio. Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) It lasted over an hour and a half that we were out there. And they did such a good job describing mm. things and talking about the science and the location and making sure we had the best possible experience. They did a great job. And they told us little things to do to make our time just that much more enjoyable. Mm-hmm. We weren't sure if, if having a clear kayak versus any other kayak would really make a difference. Made a difference. Oh, did it ever. It made the experience just amazing to, to watch as you're paddling, to see the light all around you underneath and mm-hmm. at the edge and just so special sometimes the fish we would startle the fish and so the fish aren't glowing but they're making the plankton around themselves glow mm-hmm. and so the, I, again, I think I'll, some of the fish were glowing as they were flying through the well, air too <laughs> it, i think it just seemed i think it just seemed that way mm-hmm. Because we were out there for one night, what are we going to do with the boys? Well, what we did back in Texas is we used this woman we found on Rover, Mm -hmm. who was truly spectacular, Mm -hmm. and the boys loved going there. So we did the same thing here. I went on to Rover. I found a, a couple that do this out of their courtyard villa in the northern part of of the the villages villages. and uh we dropped the boys off uh when we got there to pick them up which again you're seeing the video there (laughs) uh they were happy to see us there was no distress everybody was happy so it worked out really well Mm -hmm. the boys had a sleepover saturday morning i go out with the guys to do our weekly photo shoot we got out there probably around six o'clock in the morning but when we got back to the golf cart this is what i found somebody hit me very disheartening sometime between six and eight o'clock in the morning someone hit me anyway so that's uh that was our week yeah uh, it really it still ended on a good note, in spite of that experience. So grateful that we're here and well, well, appreciate what what we get to experience in this lifestyle. Yeah, uh, it ended with us picking up the golf cart. Not only did we get our other issue fixed, but we got this new issue fixed, mm-hmm. and so better than ever better than ever so we were just driving around like Karen said earlier mm-hmm. we've been we're driving around uh, it drove so well mm-hmm. I was just I was just smiling from ear to ear like I got a brand new golf cart and the village's golf cars in Magnolia Plaza have really taken care of us and yeah they did Billy's a really good job Pinson is awesome just awesome. and I'm gonna put his contact info below as we mentioned That bioluminescent kayaking tour, that was our number one on our bucket list, Mm -hmm. but it was also our number one on our Florida bucket list. Mm -hmm. So So now we need to figure out what are we going to do next on our Florida bucket list. You need to watch that. (laughs) Maybe you want to tell us what you think we should do next. We appreciate you stopping by. See ya.